In this lesson, we will be covering how to trace bitmaps. When we refer to bitmaps, we are referring to photos, images downloaded from the internet, and scanned images. Bitmaps have to be traced if we want to cut them with vinyl. The reason for this is that cutters only understand line and vector paths. Bitmaps, on the other hand, contain dots, or what are called pixels, that create the image or photo. Thus, tracing is a way of outlining or tracing a bitmap automatically. This feature is mostly useful in converting bitmap logos to an outlined or traced object. There are five steps to trace a bitmap. The first being to merge the bitmap into the preview area. Open the tracing options in the side panel by clicking on the trace tool icon. Select an area of the object or the whole bitmap to be traced. Adjust the setting for the outline. And finally, trace the bitmap. Let's start with selecting the area of the bitmap we'd like to trace. In this case, it's this thumbs up image. First, we'll click on Select Trace Area, and then select the area of the bitmap to be traced. After the tracing rectangle has been drawn, it can be adjusted, similar to selecting an object. So if we only wanted a portion of this bitmap to trace, we can adjust the selection rectangle to that area. Once the area to be traced is selected, a yellow trace area around the bitmap will appear. It is this yellow area that trace lines will follow when outlining. The options in the side panel for tracing will adjust the yellow area. Let's review some of these settings and how they can affect the yellow area and tracing. When High Pass Filter is enabled, it filters out or smooths the differences between the darker and lighter pixels of a bitmap, and depending upon the threshold, will grow or shrink the yellow tracing area. When Low Pass Filter is enabled, it removes noise in an image. Care has to be used when using this filter since it can reduce the sharpness of the trace line. On the other hand, if the bitmap being traced has a smooth shape to it, this option can be helpful. Threshold will increase or decrease the sensitivity of the lighter colors when the High Pass Filter is applied. Scale determines how the grayscale part of the image is scaled. In other words, as the scale increases, it darkens the pixels so that the edge of the image is easier to trace. However, this setting should be adjusted prior to adjusting the threshold value. In this case, let's enable the low pass filter, increase the scale so that the black outline is what is traced, make a couple of other adjustments, and once the settings are to our liking, we can trace the image. There are three choices of how we want the image to be traced. Trace will trace both the inside and outside areas. Trace Outer Edge will trace just the outside of the bitmap. Trace and Detach will trace and actually detach the yellow trace area of the bitmap from the untraced areas of the bitmap. This feature is very useful for bitmaps from which a portion of the bitmap can be separated from the original bitmap. In this case, we'll select Trace. Let's move the bitmap away to see the results. The software will make a compound object with the traced elements. This means that if we went to the Color Fill palette and selected a color, it would color the outline. In this case though, we'd want to color the insides of the traced object. Let's undo the color, click on the Object pull-down menu, and select Release Compound Path. Now we can just start selecting different elements of the object and color them. And now we have a vector representation of the bitmap that can be cut on the GraphTech cutter. In this next example, we have only one color. To trace this image, let's click on the Trace Tool icon. Let's adjust the High Pass filter so that the yellow fills in a good portion of the black area that makes up the logo. And finally, since it doesn't have any white space within the logo, 
we can just click Trace Outline. And the bitmap is traced, giving us the exact outline version of the bitmap. Our final example is to outline this bitmap. This time though, we're not tracing the individual colors since it would be too hard with all the gradients involved, but instead we're creating a single contour cut line for the print and cut process. In other words, we'd like to keep the logo as a bitmap. This is another good application for trace outline. So we will first select the area we need to trace by clicking on select trace area. Next we can increase the high pass filter to make sure all the edges around the image are solid. Make a couple of other adjustments. And now we can click trace outer edge. If we move the bitmap we can see the outline. From here we can create an offset outline. Make it so that it is a little farther out. Delete the original outline. Move the bitmap back in place. And now we are ready to cut around the bitmap. 